Hi guys, it's time to learn our vocabulary words for the week. Our vocabulary words are going to come from our poem, Umbrellas. This is in your poetry reader if you would like to read it during your IDR time. All right, I want you to listen carefully to the poem and then I will give you the words from it. All right, Umbrellas by Lillian Moore. So many umbrellas walking this gray day. So many umbrellas going every which way. Don't worry, you can find me in a hurry. My umbrellas, the one that's yellow like the sun. All right, so from our poem, the first word we're going to learn is unpleasant unpleasant is our word so when something's unpleasant it is not nice you do not enjoy it um, in the poem it's a gray and rainy day and some people think a gray and rainy day is unpleasant they do not enjoy them so I want to know what you think do you think rainy days are unpleasant do you not enjoy them Tell your partner. Make sure you use the word unpleasant. So I think rainy days are unpleasant because, or I don't think rainy days are unpleasant because. All right, pause me if you need to, I'm gonna go on. So I think both ways, you know, sometimes if I want to be doing something outside and it's rainy, that might be unpleasant for me, but I really like when it's rainy outside. It makes me want to uh, snuggle under the covers with a good book or watch a movie with the kids. Um, a rainy day can be pleasant um, as well as unpleasant. All right, let's take a look at our word card. Oh goodness. In this picture, the little boy looks like he is putting the garbage in the garbage can. And I see lots of wiggly lines that shows me as stinky. And I see some flies, which is more evidence that it's stinky. And he has his finger plugging up his nose, which is what you do when you don't want to smell something. So this smell is unpleasant. Let's take a look at the word. Remember, unpleasant is something that is not nice. You do not enjoy doing it. And I can speak from experience. I don't like to take out the stinky trash. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about things that are unpleasant. You know, candy is something that people really enjoy, but there's one candy that I think is unpleasant, and that is black licorice and black jelly beans. I do not like them at all. Um, I don't like the way they taste. And sometimes, um, the kids will leave out, or even Mr. Bates will leave his coffee out for several days and the milk will start to go bad. And it, when milk curdles, it smells unpleasant, like the garbage here. So I wanna know, what do you think has an unpleasant taste or smell? So you'll say, I think blank um, has an unpleasant smell, or I think blank has an unpleasant taste. Go ahead and tell your partner right now. That does sound unpleasant. All right, let's learn our gesture for it. How about we use the picture card for an example and we plug up our nose or we pretend to plug it up because you know when you do plug up your nose, it affects the way your voice sounds. So you can pretend to pinch your nose or you can actually pinch it. Um, so we'll put her like this, and then we also want to make a face that is unpleasant. So maybe like, ooh, unpleasant. You try it. Unpleasant. Good job. All right, let's learn another word from our poem. <clears throat> or a, a word that we got the idea from the poem. All right, so we are going to be learning an opposite word we're gonna be learning the word pleasant. So remember, unpleasant was uh, something that's not nice, something that you don't enjoy. So pleasant, being an opposite word, means it's something that you do enjoy, something that you do like. All right. 
but they are opposite words. Let's look at the picture card. All right, so over here was something the boy did not like or enjoy. It was something that was stinky, unpleasant. But now he's got some flowers and they smell wonderful. They smell pleasant. They are nice. He enjoys it. Pleasant. All right. So before we talked about something that you found unpleasant to either smell or taste. Now I want you to talk about something that you do like or do enjoy. What's something that is pleasant to smell or pleasant to taste? So you're gonna tell your partner, something that is pleasant to taste is, or I, lo I like this, it is pleasant to, um, to smell. Go ahead and tell somebody that's either, something that's pleasant to either taste or smell. curious what did you say did you say that flowers were pleasant to smell or maybe your mom's perfume what about taste did you say pizza is pizza pleasant to taste <laughs> all right so these are opposite words pleasant unpleasant and pleasant so we're gonna play pleasant or unpleasant and you're gonna tell me I'm gonna describe something to you and you're gonna tell me whether it's our vocabulary word unpleasant or pleasant the smell of a skunk is the smell of a skunk unpleasant or pleasant how do you know I want you to tell your partner the smell of a skunk is unpleasant because or the smell of a skunk is pleasant because go ahead and do that now I hope you said that it was unpleasant because it smells really bad. You may have never smelled a skunk before, but you've seen in TV shows and in books that it is really bad. And I can tell you from personal experience, I've never gotten sprayed by a skunk, but I've been around where it's sprayed and it is not pleasant. It is very unpleasant. All right, here we go. The sound of birds chirping. Is the sound of birds chirping pleasant or unpleasant? Tell your partner that it is pleasant or unpleasant and tell them why. All right, so maybe you said it was pleasant because it sounds lovely or maybe it's lots of birds and it's unpleasant because you're trying to read a book and it's bothering you. <laughs> All right, last one. Um, playing a game with your friends. Is that pleasant or unpleasant? Tell your partner why or why not. All right, good. Let's discuss a pleasant day. So in our poem, Umbrellas, remember that they were walking outside on a gray day and that some people think a gray and rainy day is unpleasant. I want you to tell me what a pleasant day might look like for you. Something that's nice, something that you enjoy. What does a pleasant day look like or feel like? Tell your partner right now pleasant day looks like or a pleasant day feels like explain it to them right now all right pause me if you need more time because I'm gonna keep going what might you do on a pleasant day why so on a pleasant day I would because all right great if you need more time, pause me. But we're gonna move on to the gesture for pleasant. We're gonna take our cue from the picture. So we're gonna pretend to be holding some flowers and we're gonna be smelling them when we say pleasant or we're gonna to pretend to smell them. And we're gonna make our face look pleasant, that we enjoy it, it's nice. So it's gonna look like this, pleasant. Can you do that? Pleasant, so unpleasant, pleasant. Good. All right, come back tomorrow and we'll, we will learn two new words from our poem, Umbrellas. Bye, guys.